When some people think of anime, images of Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! and other children's shows come to their brain. But there's a whole other world of smart animated entertainment that comes out of Japan. And over the years, these movies and TV shows have become primo inspirations for Hollywood movies, whether they get credited or not. So with that in mind, Screen Rant presents 10 movies that stole from anime without getting caught. If you like it, remember to subscribe to the Screen Rant channel and join the notification squad. And before we start, can you guess this movie from these emojis? Stay tuned for the answer at the end of our video. The Matrix and Ghost in the Shell The Matrix has a lot of iconic moments, but probably the most famous is the digital reign of green letters, an advanced coding system which determines what goes on within the Matrix. But guess what? It didn't originate from the Wachowskis. Cyberspace is signified by a similar green waterfall of digits in Mamoru Oshii's Ghost in the Shell, a hugely influential cyberpunk anime from 1995. The Wachowskis also borrowed the image of someone being plugged in through a port on the neck. This will feel a little weird. You can also see elements of Ghost in the Shell in James Cameron's Avatar, Steven Spielberg's Minority Report, and Joss Whedon's Dollhouse. It really gets around. Pacific Rim and Gigantor Guillermo del Toro's Pacific Rim is an homage to the Japanese kaiju and mecha animes of the past, and there are a lot of series and movies that inspired it. But the film also takes directly from Gigantor, an animated TV show from the 1950s that aired pretty regularly on both Japanese and American television. The main giant robot, or Jaeger of the film, is called Gypsy Danger, and its design is clearly derived from Gigantor, the first giant robot of anime. It makes sense within the context of the film, as Gypsy Danger is an older, obsolete Jaeger, which ironically is exactly what's needed to save the day. <sighs> Requiem for a Dream and Perfect Blue Darren Aronofsky's Requiem for a Dream was praised for its innovative way of using montage to demonstrate the effects of drug use. The result is a visceral immersion into the world of addiction, but little did people know that Aronofsky was stealing techniques from across the Pacific Ocean. The famous bathtub scene, in which an in-withdrawal Jennifer Connelly screams into the water, was actually taken directly from a similar scene in Perfect Blue, a 1997 anime thriller. In fact, Aronofsky actually bought the rights to Perfect Blue just so he could copy that scene. Stop! Avatar and Princess Mononoke We've already discussed the influence of Ghost in the Shell on Avatar, but James Cameron also stole some ideas from Hayao Miyazaki's classic Princess Mononoke, which is about the spirits of a forest and their struggle against the humans who want to exploit it for resources. Does that sound familiar? Well, maybe it's because it's just like Avatar, which is about the Navi species and their struggle against the human colonizers of Pandora. Is it a coincidence? We think not, as we've already established that James Cameron is a fan of anime. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World and Naruto Edgar Wright's Scott Pilgrim vs. The World is based on a comic by Daniel Lee O'Malley, and the inspiration of anime and manga on that comic is obvious from O'Malley's drawing style. But one anime stands out in particular. In Naruto, the title character dreams of becoming the most powerful ninja in his town, which resembles the young Scott Pilgrim's quest to win the Battle of the Bands. In addition, Pilgrim is clearly modeled on Naruto, and even uses some of the catchphrases that come from the Naruto TV show. Looper and Akira Akira is one of the most famous animes of all time, and in 1989 it set the stage for the Japanese animation invasion of the 1990s, when American TV screens were filled with imported Japanese series. The darkly comic cyberpunk tale has inspired everything from Christopher Nolan's Inception to the music video for Kanye West's Stronger. One movie that really takes from it, however, is Ryan Johnson's Looper, about a time-traveling hitman who gets sent back in time to be killed by his own hand. Johnson has called this movie a cross between The Terminator and Akira, with Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character bearing a surprising resemblance to the anime's Tetsuo. Her and Chobits The premise of Her is that Joaquin Phoenix's lonely introvert falls in love with a Siri-like operating system voiced by Scarlett Johansson. Or, as the jokes put it, he falls in love with his phone. <laughs> but director Spike Jones wasn't the first to latch on to this basic idea. In the anime Chobits, which came out in 2002, the main protagonist falls in love with an android. 
Both films make a point not to mock their lonely main characters, and embrace the idea that artificial technology can be an intellectual match for humans. Unlike some of the directors on this list, however, Jones has never spoken of his anime influences. Man of Steel and Birdie the Mighty Zack Snyder is known for his super stylish action, and Man of Steel is no exception to this. We all know that the movie is based on DC's famous Superman comics, but Snyder also obviously had a source of inspiration from across the sea. The main fight at the end of the film, in which Superman and General Zod battle it out and destroy Metropolis in the process, bears a strong resemblance to the city-destroying battles in an anime called Birdie the Mighty. So if you're wondering where Snyder's visual panache comes from, start checking out some anime. Transcendence and Serial Experiments Lane the Johnny Depp starring Transcendence was a box office disappointment when it came out in 2014, but you can't say it wasn't ambitious. In the film, Depp plays a scientist whose body dies, but he manages to stay alive in computerized form, eventually growing in power. It's weird for a Hollywood film, maybe, but the premise is pretty normal for an anime. In fact, it was done 16 years earlier in Serial Experiments Lane, in which a teenage girl dies but continues to contact her friends digitally, and also begins to grow in power. Inception and Paprika. And finally, we come to the grandfather of all Hollywood anime thefts, Inception. When this brain teaser came out in 2010, it wowed audiences with its idea of using technology to invade people's dreams. The only problem? That's also the premise for Satoshi Kon's modern classic Paprika, which came out four years before Nolan's film. In fact, the premise was so similar that a planned American adaptation of the anime was cancelled before production. Most anime fans, however, would argue that Khan's film is the more imaginative and entertaining one. Lights out. So how did you like our list? Are there any other movies that stole ideas from anime? And the answer to the movie emoji is... Did you get the right answer? Let us know in the comments below, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one. And don't forget to join the notification squad so we can let you know about more videos like this. Thanks for watching.